Mr. Superintendent, I would like to discuss with you the possibility of opening up our school district to become a Bring Your Own Technology, or BIOT district. Many learning activities take place outside the classroom. It is difficult to tie what students are learning at home into lessons learned in the classroom. If students are able to use their own devices in the classroom, teachers can help maneuver what tools the students are using to relate to the content being learned. What types of devices can students bring to use? Devices can include laptop computers, tablet computers, e-readers, netbook computers, internet-capable devices, and cell phones. How do we control what access students have? Also, how do we keep viruses from being transferred onto our network? The Forsyth County School District in Georgia implemented the BIOT initiative in their schools. They shared all their experiences and strategies on their website. How is this a cost saver for the district? The district will be limited on how many devices they will have to purchase. Therefore, the money can be spent on opening more bandwidth than creating a public network. Both Apple and Google have developed an extensive collection of apps as well as adding new tools that are inexpensive or free. One of the best perks for students using their own devices is that they get to take them home for assistance with their work and to further their education outside the classroom. What about students who do not own any of their own devices? Common Sense Media reports that 52% of children under 8 years old have access to mobile media. Edison Research reports that 61% of Americans age 12 and up own a mobile device. Families could fill out an application proving their income and possibly buy devices from the school district at a lower cost. Parents will be more willing to purchase devices for their children when it directly affects their learning. How do we ensure that the teachers are properly implementing the use of BIT? The focus of professional development must change to helping teachers learn each of the devices that can be used in the school. If a teacher feels comfortable with the device, they are more apt to allow them to be used in their classroom. Over time, teachers will develop strategies to address the following. Issues, equity of devices, responsible use, and classroom management. As the devices emerge, new instructional skills need to evolve to promote their use. The Forsyth County School District offers a tour at their district for any teachers who would like to go see firsthand how the POISI has been implemented. I would be more than willing to fly to Georgia to help out with this endeavor. It sounds like a great idea. Pack your bags and come back with a fuller report to present to the school board. Have fun in Georgia.